Hello friends, Windows license will expire soon. One of the popular error. In this tutorial, we're going to fix it in a different way. So five different easy way to fix this problem. If one way doesn't work, you can try another way. So let's begin. The first way. Okay guys, you can see here the source bar in your Windows 10 and you just open the task manager so i'm just going to type task so as soon as i type task you can see here is the task manager so you can just open the task manager or you can use alt control delete press the alt control delete in your keyboard and you can choose task manager so there are two different way to open the task manager so open the task manager Give a right click on it and be sure to run it as an administrator. And here is your tax bar. So you can see once you open the task bar, if you still like this, click on more details. Go to the file and click on run new task. And you're going to type over here. Once you create a new task, you're going to type explorer.exe. E X P L O R E R dot E X C. You can see you can make a note from here. And then click on OK in order to create a new task. Select this one and click on OK. Okay guys, the second step, go to the sorts or you can press wind, Windows button and X button. So you're going to type CMD or you can type the full command prompt. So we need to open the command prompt. So here's the command prompt. If the command prompt does not appear, type the full spelling over here. It's command prompt. Give a right click on it and then run it as an administrator. Run as an administrator. Select yes if it asks you for any kinds of permission while opening. Now you have to type a command. So here's the command. You can type it as it is without any spelling mistake. So it is S L M G R space. You're going to put this minus sign. It's R E A R M. All right, R E A R M, and then you're going to press enter. Once you're done with that, be sure to restart your computer. Do not forget to restart your computer, and this should fix your problem. Still, you have an issue. We're going to with the third steps. So, the third step go to the search and you're going to type run. You can open the run or you can press Windows button and R button. Windows plus R is the shortcut key. Open the run. And then guys, you're going to type it. So it is gpedit.msc and click on OK. You're going to see this. Here you have a computer configuration. Select that. You have administrative templates over here. So click on this administrative templates. So it's a drop down icon over here. And then you're going to choose Windows components. So here you have the Windows component. So click on this drop down icon. So we are selecting now Windows component. And come down to Windows update. So somewhere 
you'll find the Windows Update. Here you have the Windows Update. Select this Windows Update. Here is the drop down icon. So, Windows Update. Once you click on Windows Update on the right side, just scroll it a little bit down and you can see guys here it is. It's a no auto restart with a logged on schedule automatic update installation. So you have to choose these options. You can see here you have. Select this option and click on it. So give a double click on it. As soon as you give a double click on it, you will see this box will appear. So give a double click on it. So click on it twice quickly. You can see this box enable it and then click on apply and then click on OK. Following this couple of method might fix this problem. Use the first couple of method in the beginning that do not fix your issue. Try this one. If this do not fix your issue, we'll go with the third one now. Click on apply and then click on OK and restart your computer. So the fourth way, go to the search and we'll type run again. Give a moment and here it is run. So open the run. So you have to open the run. So another shortcut way to open the run is Windows key and R. As soon as you open the run, now we're going to type services.msc and then click on OK. So, Windows Service Manager will open now. Just come down and you'll see with the letter W, here you have Windows License Manager. Give a right click on it. Click on properties and here you have a startup type. You're going to click on disable. So choose the disable, click on apply and click on OK. Choose disable, click on apply and click on OK. This should fix your problem. Be sure to restart the computer after applying and clicking on OK. Okay guys, the fifth step that you can follow. So as we have opened the command prompt as an administrator, open the command prompt as an administrator again, and then you're going to type this as it is. So be sure to type correctly without any spelling mistake. So here is the path. So everything is separated with a space. So software licensing service space get space you're going to type this it's OA3X original product key and then you're going to press enter and you're going to see your original product key over here. You can just make a note of it or you can just copy it or you can just make a note of it in your sheet of paper. After that what you need to do is go to the settings, go to the settings. And then here you have update and security. Click on it. All right. You just have to come down to the activation. Click on activation. And then my friends, you're going to click on over here. Change the product key. Enter the product key that you have made a note from here. And then you can just change the product key. So product key, one that you have got from here, you can just make a note of it and you can change the product key and you can use your original product key once again and you can activate the product. So this is the fifth step you can follow. So use the first step in the beginning that do not fix your issue. Use the second step that do not fix your issue. Use the third step that do not fix your issue. Use this fourth step that do not fix your issue. This is the fifth step you are going to follow. The sixth and the final step, let me show you. So you have to open the run. So type run and you can open the run. Or the shortcut key is Windows plus R. 
it's a very quick and then my friends you're gonna type this so it's R E G E D I T. It's a rigid it and click on OK. If it asks you for any kinds of permission, click on Yes. And then, my friends, you're going to see this. So, once you open it, here on the top, click on File and then click on Export. Okay, guys, give a name to your registry file and save it in a proper location. Right now, I'm just going to save it in a okay, some. Save it in external drive or some other drive of your hard disk. So I'm just going to save it somewhere in my, let's say, E drive. Okay, I'll save it somewhere in my E drive. Okay, let me save it over here. So I'll give some name. R E G. It is my registry file and be sure to click over here all so choose all and click on save so i'm making a backup of my registry file so this sixth step is quite risky guy you might risk your computer so all the five steps if you do not work then only take the chance of this keeping your computer in a risk so if any problem occurs we have already made a backup of registry we're gonna run that registry file and everything will be in the same position again so if anything goes wrong so that is why we are taking the backup first so give a moment to take a backup so guys i've already made a backup of my registry so make sure you keep this registry in a proper location if any issue occurs any problem with your windows you just give a double click on it and then just run it so if it asks you for any permission, click on yes and just run the registry and again your windows will be in the back of same position. So this risky method, try it at your own risk. So even I have shown you how to make a backup of the registry and how to run it back again if any issue occurs with this method. So not a problem guys, it's quite risky, you can try this. So this is the final and the sixth step. So it's a long guys, you just have to type this over here. So again, open the command prompt as an administrator, as like that of the, we have opened in the beginning. So open the command prompt again as an administrator, like we did in the very first. So once you open the administrator command prompt, you can type this path as it is over here. So type all the spellings correctly. So it's a long path. You can just pause the video and make a note of it. You can just type it as it is, and then you're gonna press click on okay. So press enter once you type and restart your computer. That should definitely fix your problem. So all the six different way, all the six different method to fix this problem. One, the either method is definitely going to work for you guys. If any issue with the problem, be sure to run the registry again, guys. So I hope all these steps will fix your problem. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and click on bell icon for quick notification. I'll catch you in the next video with another great stuff and great update. Have a good day. Catch you in the next video.